Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Simtex05. In previous few videos, we seen how we can utilize the 3D and CFD Tetramass options. After that, we seen how we can export it for ANSYS Fluent. We also seen some advantages of uh, with boundary layer and without boundary layer options. The next is exporting the mess file for the open form. There are two ways to export or to generate CFD mess for the open form. One is we have to generate only the STL file to the open form and then open form use the poly mess feature to generate the 3D massing. And the second way that is for complex component, poly mess is possible when we have very simple component. When we have difficulty in the component, means complexity in the component, then it will be very difficult to generate a better polymass or good polymass using the open form tool itself. So when we have complex component, entire massing we have to generate in the hypermass options, means hypermass software. And we have options in hypermass to export it directly to the open form. Hypermass generate entire mass file for the open form with the all constants and polymass, this boundary constant and cell zones, point and point zones, everything, everything will be generated by the hypermass only. So first we will use the STL file export options and that STL file we can utilize for polymass generation in the open form. So let me do this. So here we have basically one component that is our plate component and to generate a STL file basically we need a surface massing okay but we need the surface massing not only in the one component we have to define which is your inlet or inflow which is your outflow which is your wall condition or we have some another heat input something like that okay. So what you can do you can go with the right click create and component. And let's say first is my inflow, then we have say outflow here, then we have wall condition. Only these three conditions I'm taking. See, volume mass we cannot export with the help of STL file format. Okay, if you want to export the volume also, volume mass also, then you have to utilize the second options that I will explain in next video. So just match this component, select the all surfaces, basically those are surfaces belongs to solid, okay. So let's say element size is 2 and go with the mass. So this component is matched. Now I don't want this geometry. Yeah. See we have the 2D mass, surface mass, but this all mass belongs to one component only, the plate component. So I am selecting the all component, click on color icon and here we have this auto color options. So I am able to realize which elements belongs to which component. Now the all elements are belongs to plate component. So we need to organize, go to the tool options and here we have organize, shortcut key shift F11, element, element by face. Sometime if you are not able to select this element by face, then you can utilize the other selection method. Let's say I have geometry with me and this geometry associated with the element. So element instead of face, select geometry options where it is. Here it is geometry options, surface options. Element associate with this surface, I want to select. So these all element will be select. These are belongs to inflow and click on move. Similarly, element belongs to these four geometry. Let's say this surface, this surface, okay, sorry, and this surface as well as this surface. These all element. Add to selection. Make sure all element are selected. These all elements are belongs to wall. Click on wall and click on move. Now these elements are move in wall component you can see. 
likewise okay similarly you can select these element and your selection method you can utilize which you feel better and this is my outflow click on move now hide the geometry and you can see here we have inflow outflow and wall these three section only i have you may have multiple float domain then also you can utilize the same options but volume mess we cannot export using stl file format so this is all let me save go with the export options and we have export type make sure you are in the solver deck options export type is stl format important point here in hypermesh only the stl ascii options is available sometime the binary format also available in other softwares do not export in binary format okay only export in the ascii format let's say yes hypermesh to open from stl file and name as any name you can say stl plate component and custom okay which entity i want to export see if this custom option is not visible to you let's say again export definition so sometime it is hidden under the export options just double click a single click on that arrow instead of displayed options go with the custom select entity then the entities to export will be visible to you here i don't want to export this plate component only inflow outflow and wall component i want to export click on export again and then click on export so here it is uh, uh, finished that's mean our component is exported let me show you yes now we have three volumes uh, not volume sorry three domains one is inflow and these are preset normal belongs to inflow similarly control f and find outflow here it is solid outflow and similarly we will have wall condition so this is my wall condition okay these three domains that we created are available in the stl format file and that stl file we can use to generate polymesh in the open format so that's all for this video tutorial that is quite easy but next one will very helpful for you if you are not using the polymesh options of the open form instead you want to generate meshing in the hypermesh itself and directly you want to export it for open form so thank you for listening